Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob and so good to be back and welcome to my channel. <laughs> Great man, another video on map making. Um, if this is your first time watching, joining, please uh, remember to subscribe and hit that like and hit the bell. Um, all those nice things that really helps uh, my channel a bit to grow and I appreciate that. Um, good man. Guys, yes, so um, this is now our fourth video on the adding multi-fruit to your map. Um, a map that doesn't have multi-fruit just above the standard fruits in the game you know so um, in our previous video uh, we, we did work with the uh, fruit types and full types we added both those um, and did all the XMLs as well as the, um, the, the terrain um, just look at that I keep forgetting the name of that long name the density map height types <laughs> <laughs> now this has got to do with your tip on ground whatever you put in here that fruit will tip on ground uh, I want to mention guys there's just some things I want to just catch up on from our previous videos the very first thing is we've only done two fruits um, here just as samples by default you will not put millet as a tip on ground because I think there's only like six or five or seven open spaces that you can add fruit here before you have to make uh, have to make uh, modifications to the to the ground type and all kinds of stuff you know so uh, I would rather set them to the root crops which is the ones that you would normally want to be tipping on the ground you know I mean these stuff you always put in your silos and in your trailers and you take them directly to the to the market you know you're not going to tip these on ground so so the carrots and the cabbage and um, your uh, uh, um, what's the other things lettuce those things that could just consider the ones that you want and put those in here and then obviously all you will do on your density map by types is you will select this one for instance and this is the root crop remember we, we selected this one as a root crop and this one as a grassy type of sticky type of fruit you know so the root crop which has got uh, grow underground um, these ones has got a different surface angle which is 34 and the other other ones were 26 around you know so um leave it at 34 for for the carrot and the lettuce and all those just consider that and then obviously you will take this lines like so and control c and just create yourself a new one a copy of it press home control v and there you are and then you change this just to the next fruit which will obviously be lettuce or, or or cabbage or whatever it is and they only need to now change the diffuse and the normal and the distance diffuse um, and that's it um, then you've added a new fruit to it you know all right so that was the thing I wanted to quickly mention I'm not going to save this because we finished with this in the previous video more importantly and I keep trying to remember myself to tell you guys is to make backups of your map before you attempt any of these additions uh, adding stuff make sure you've got ample backups make two or three backups uh, <laughs> don't don't think it's crazy because uh, yeah I've, I've had to throw away a map and start over because if you mess up your maps i3d it is a nightmare guys uh, you cannot believe how much work it is to try and reverse something that's gone wrong in there <laughs> so make sure you back up your whole map make a copy of your whole map just by selecting the map itself like so um, right click copy and paste it somewhere else and then you've got a backup a, a working backup before you start doing any any changes to your fruit types and um, adding stuff or whatever you know just to be safe guys um, I've, I've really I've seen it I've experienced it long crocodile tears because <laughs> you have to start over from scratch because uh, if you lose your maps i3d it is taboo that's your map <laughs> then, then, then you're in trouble and if you don't have a backup you're gonna cry um, yes so I have been there believe me it's not nice okay today's video guys uh, today's video we're gonna work with um, remember when we were in game i can quickly just show you in game how us uh, what is our um, just to catch up on where we are 
if you've just watched my previous video it will be no uh, nothing new but it's a quick just a quick review of what it looks like um, today we're going to work with the particle systems we're adding all the little details of of your um, things so if you if you're busy um, if you're busy harvesting let me just show you just get this pipe out of the way there you can see in front there's no animations here at the um, at the big rotor for the for the harvester there's no animations of smoke and fruit going into the into the header and on top there's nothing coming out of the pipe um, there is however fruit showing in the in the uh, uh, in the hopper of the harvester which is good but um, yeah and when when you tip also when you tip um, let's just get the pipe out again when you tip this now on ground it makes a heap but it doesn't show it coming out of the pipe you know so if I go control I you see it just forms a, a heap on the ground but it's not animating the, the stuff coming here out of the end of the pipe so that is what we're going to do today we're going to get that to work and uh, it might be a short video it might be a long one <laughs> it just depends on how many things i forget and uh, and uh, how many things i uh, happen to mess up you know <laughs> so we'll see just now good all right so in order to do that um in our new fruits there is a uh under i think it's under full planes let me just have a look yes there's the cutter effect the materials for the cutter effect as well as the full plane material holder and the particle material so these four uncles we must put into our um, xml file and the one we're going to use for that is i think it is the it's not the modis it's the game xml which will be this one and it will be here by the i3ds you see here the dollar data remember is the in-game ones so all these ones are already set up for us we just need to copy them and uh, add new lines here at the at the bottom so we're going to just create some space for us here to work so the first one let's just go back to our folder uh, let's just see what's the first one um, it's the particle material holder okay so particle material holder is the first one now these ones we don't work with mac target marker glow effect material tire those things we don't work with but it's the particle the effect the cutter effect and the full plane material holder. so those four i think is the ones we need to do so what we're going to do is we're going to copy these like so select it from there just excuse the dogs guys there's another dog oh there's a cow working in front of the house so they're going to go crazy about that uh control copy that create a new line for us put the cursor down there paste it there and now we've got i just want to make a, a space there so we can um just differentiate between ours and these and now what we're going to do um, is let me just have a look here um, oh you go I have to go back to the maps one uh, new fruits and then full planes what is our first one there sorry guys I've, my, my attention has suddenly just gone out here to the dogs what they do particle material holder so we look for that one particle material holder we got one like that there it is particle material holder so yes it is just a question of ah uh, man grabbing this four planes clicking here go back and select up to your maps we don't want to never never work with the with the actual map name because otherwise you're going to have problem when renaming that in future so control c there into our folder here and then we, we're just going to overwrite everything in front of that up to the name locks there paste it in there and then just we we'll just go and uh, forward these little thingamabobbies like so great and there's our particle material holder now we do the same for so i can actually just grab this now because it's all the same directory copy that just make sure that it, what you pasting in there is actually in the folder effect material holder is the next one Let's go into full planes find it effect material holder and then obviously the the spelling is very important so effect material with a caps holder 
so we're going to go back there overwrite this one affects material holder and an effect material holder with the caps and believe me just one letter wrong and you've got a problem the game gives an error and the stuff doesn't work so <laughs> yeah i've been there many times right the cutter effect material holder is the next one let's just make sure it's there cutter effect material holder so caps e caps h cutter effect material holder okay back there cutter effect material holder looks like it's correctly spelt and then just go in there to paste overwrite that uh, let's much do this one as well okay here we got um, the full plane material holder let me just make sure first of all if that one is there full plane full uh, caps p caps h i've got full plane material holder in there full plane material holder that looks all right um i must just get here the correct thing paste it in there good so now we have the four um effects and everything set up we can now push that delete those uh, extra lines um go back here and do the same here bring all this up up to speed just have it all nice and neat like so and then save it up save it up right there you go and we're going back into the game to test guys i actually closed there now because i'm so confident <laughs> it's gonna work so let's just see if it works guys i'm having a nice cold drink here on the site i hope you've got something nice to drink um yeah cheers guys mm, okay now it's been a hot day here by us 30 odd degrees so yeah not fahrenheit celsius start bob's multi fruit <laughs> let's have a look at what it what it's doing so we're gonna just test the um the millet there in the harvester that we were busy with uh, just see what it looks like and hopefully hopefully we've got animations working set it to harvest uh yeah it is down let's just grab a bit of millet now immediately you can see see the animations in the header as the material goes into the header and you can see the millet coming out um, out of the pipe and the smoke by the pipe the smoke at the header lots of smoke coming out so that is what your particle systems do guys and look how beautiful that is man i love how that uh, millet is coming out of this pipe my word <laughs> great good and you can see also particles coming out of the back of the um, the spreader now i don't think they were there last time those little white stuff flying around right control i to tip and we have we have our stream of uh, millet coming out of the pipe uh, all looking very nice and neat good we can actually test it on the um why don't i have a carrot harvester hmm tap 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 i didn't buy a carrot harvester guys how is it possible how is that possible did i not well, maybe i saved the game i didn't save the game after buying uh, the carrot harvester last time but anyway that's very easy to mint to fix you just go into harvesters hmm that is why i don't have my uh Okay, let's just quickly go out i want to just taste the carrot as well because that's a root crop this stuff is a bit different um than the um the grassy stuff you know uh let's go in here just want to see if the homer pack is selected that i think is what our problem is yeah you see it's not selected start so i didn't save the game there where we tested on on the previous episode right okay let's have a look guys okay oh no i lost that harvester by the looks of it let's quickly just buy another one easy to solve now we have a home with the buy it for us yes thank you back back one uh carrot uh header for us thank you bye yes okay and we can 
to let this guy. Oh yeah, I love this harvester, it's so nice. And remember it's got a 5 meter header on it, eh? It's crazy. Lifting all this quick. Okay, um, that was field 19, was it? Uh, let's just go to field 19. Good, yeah, there it is. Just unfold. Unfold the beast. Let the beast loose. Let's see what happens. Right, B and 3. And there you go. And once again you'll see immediately the fruit in the hopper and in the back you've got a lot of stuff happening behind there by the choppers and you've got fruit coming up on the side of the uh, the belt the belt system and also the full plane is working which wasn't working on it the previous time remember there was no uh, fruit in the in the hopper um, on this one although it was on the on the um, on the other harvester the, the John Deere that's what I mean. There's a difference between the root crops and um, and the sticky, grassy type of uh, fruits, you know. Good. So yeah, I think we've got enough there to tip on the ground, and it looks like it's working nice. And you see all the smokes and stuff going. Let's get the pipe out. In this case, it's a belt. It's not a pipe. And control I tip it up, and there you go. Look at that. All the nice carrots falling. <laughs> I love it. It's so cute. Lots of carrots falling. And our heap of carrots is there on the ground. Wonderful, man, guys. And that is exactly... Uh, let me save it this time in case I need to come back this way. Great, guys. So now that you have all of that, uh, you can quickly um, just have a look at your in-game uh, log and uh, let's just go out here so we can have a look and you use your page up and page down to scroll up through the log here's our multi fruits you can see there's our uh, glow effect material holder um, we didn't add the glow effect material holder but that's not part of our things just looking if i can't see where it loaded those but anyway, the, the lock should be clean, um, otherwise the stuff wouldn't have worked. But you can go through the whole lock. And this warnings, like I said, it's all because we haven't loaded anything in the... in the... Um, the default items. That's all the mods that I have in my list. I don't know why they show you a list of available mods in the log. <laughs> I mean, I didn't choose to load them. <laughs> yeah, thanks for reminding me. Oh, my word. Okay. Hit the tilde key to get rid of that. And then, uh, that is it, guys. Um, there's nothing more to do than uh, what we've discussed in this four videos. We have now got all these uh, particles, effects, and all that things loaded. And uh, the only, f only thing for you to do now obviously is to decide which of the fruits here by your new fruits at your foliage which of these fruits um, you want to be tipping on the ground and then add them into that uh, density map height type xml um, and the ones that you don't want just remove um, but very important guys um, don't load your default things like grass and clover and um, um, millet and spelt and tobacco those things you don't tip on ground you know um, onions you will probably because onions is root crop um, onions lettuce uh, hops you don't carrot uh, cabbage yeah so i would suggest put those on on the tip on ground and that's it then you're all happy and then obviously the last thing to do is now to create your uh, to create your map um, and to do that, you will just quickly uh, control A in the folder, right click, add to archive, give the archive a name, remember to make it a zip, where to put it, I'm just going to put it on my desktop, for now, save it there, and then click OK, and it will create your actual mod, and, um, and then it is there, if you go to desktop now, you will see Bob's blank map. There it is. 
200 meg mod, mod file. Great. Just to make an addition to this video, guys, um, I know I have now actually just wasted time zipping that, but it's good to have a backup. We'll leave it there. Let me quickly show you, um, just, just for interest's sake, um, in this map, how to make an actual blank map. Uh, if you want to make a blank map, or maybe I should actually make a separate video of that, because um, I don't want to have two headings for one ma one video, you know, because otherwise what happens is you uh, you 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 miss a lot of uh, people's interest in the, in the um, in your video heading, you know, or, or the the actual name of the video, because people when they search they search for something and the name actually gets searched. So, um, yeah, let me do that in another video, how to make a blank map with nothing on it. I know we've made a, a mod map here from the default map. And like I said in that first video, um, or was it the second video? It's the second video where we started with a map. Um, we uh, created one from Farming Simulator, the German map, and just made the map. So this one is a copy of that. And you can now modify that to your heart's content, add what you want to add, add your mods, add your buildings. Because uh, it is basically blank, except for it's already got everything in it, roads and fields, and everything is set up, you know. So it's a nice default uh, map. If you go into your i3D, for instance, uh, which is nice, is it's already got the field set up, the water planes, all that stuff is done for you. You don't have to do nothing um, let me just go down here a little bit so we can have some space. If you open files print, there it is. There's your fields. All your fields is set up, finished and done. Your splines is done. That's all your vehicles and stuff. Um, the water planes is done. Lots of stuff because there's a lot of waterfalls on this map. Especially up here to the where the mountainous area is. There's a nice, nice amount of waterfalls. Yeah, so this map is complete. Basically got everything in it. High voltage lines. Ah, it's got um, a railroad system on it. It is com it's a full, full nice map, you know. So yeah, you can jump in here and add stuff and take away stuff. Go crazy, you know. It's even got a harbor. I keep forgetting it's got an ocean and a harbor, you know. Or it's got this huge river. Is it a river or is it a... You, but it's a big pipe system or something going down there, eh? <laughs> I only see that now. I wonder what it is. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Good. Well, guys, so that is today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember to give it a like. It really boosts my channel's views and uh, also the uh, makes it uh, searchable easy for other people. So thanks so much, guys. Appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time. Take care.